classic Rogan Josh, a hearty lamb stew that has all the delicate flavours of Kashmir. Rogan Josh. Now, Rogan Josh is probably the most familiar Kashmiri dish that we know of in this country. If I could just ask you to slice that onion. Okay. In Kashmir, they would use just lots of spices and yogurt. So if you slice that, and I'll get into these garlic cloves to make a puree. Mm -hmm. Okay, since you've done the onion, let's start cooking. First, I'm going to fry up all my spices in hot oil. I'm using black and green cardamom pods, peppercorn, cloves, cinnamon, and mace, which is derived from the nutmeg tree. Next, I'm going to make a paste using six cloves of garlic and one square inch piece of ginger. So in with our meat. Okay. All in. All right. And if I can have you kind of gently browning that off in the onions. And the reason I haven't gone too dark with the onions is because they're going to cook now more with the Even meat. Even more, still, yeah. yeah on a, on a good Quite big surface. pieces here. Would you actually leave yeah. them this size? Uh, no, I would have cut them a bit smaller, really. I mean, for the train, definitely. Well, that's because I, I think people thinking. are going to... Does it matter having no, them small? it doesn't matter at all. You know, in India, we eat with our hands, so we'll tear bits off and that's fine. Yeah. But for the train, you absolutely cut them to the right size for you. OK. So how did you get involved in this train? How did that happen? Because your parents are involved too, aren't they? My parents have been involved, yes, they are still um, slightly less involved than they were. Mm. My father used to be the chairman of the catering department. So. Ah, now the connection makes <laughs> sense. He roped you in, didn't he? Something like that, yes. Did what an Indian father does. He goes, this is what I do, come and do it with me. OK, I'm just going to puree these tomatoes. Then I'm adding half a teaspoon of chilli powder and two teaspoons of cumin, coriander and garam masala. Now, fennel seeds is really typical of Kashmir mm -hmm. and it is definitely something that should go into Rogan Josh and it just works. Although it sounds unusual, it works really well with the lamb. So I'm adding two teaspoons. Okay. okay. Stir, stir, stir. And you can see the colour's already gotten darker. Because it's looking more like what you'd expect a curry to look like. Mm -hmm. In go the tomatoes. This is yoghurt, and I've stirred it so that it's got no lumps. OK. So, three tablespoons straight in. OK, stir. And that's really all that goes into it. Now I'm going to leave the lamb to stew for about 20 minutes. Once the liquid has reduced, I brown the meat slowly in the masala. So what it's actually doing is just concentrating all those flavours? Yeah. So you just need enough liquid in there to stop it catching? Yeah, exactly. So it shouldn't, like, be dry. Okay. But there shouldn't be so much liquid that it's just kind of bubbling away. Yeah. So I'm happy with that. I can kind of smell the caramelisation of mm -hmm. that masala. I need to add some water. It's not supposed to be a thin gravy, but it's also not thick, because we're going to have it with rice, so we need enough to kind of moisten that. All right, so that's boiling. So I'm putting the heat back on, turning it down a bit, and then just leaving it till the lamb's completely cooked. Another 10 minutes or so. And petit peu de garnish. And that is actually more than garnish, because once you crunch into that with the lamb, it's really fragrant and fresh, and I think it's time to try. And we have liftoff. 